Acting acrobatic climbing armadillo. Only here will you see that yes, it is true, armadillos can climb. They drop like bombs. Katie Donkey says, hey, John loves watching you. Hey, Phil loves well, John watching. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, John. John, how old are you now? Or Katie, how old is John now? I, I just need to know. I bet he's getting big. Give that a 3.5. Uh, six. He will be seven in October. Oh my goodness. How's the weather in Indiana in April? He said uh, he brought his toy armadillo to watch the show. Oh, nice. He, who was it? Uh, Cade Black. Cade, Cade, have you ever seen a real live armadillo? Maybe he has some family in Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, something, I don't know. This way. All right, I think we're going to go. All right. Try to zoom out. No. All right, we've got a nine banded armadillo today. Perfect example right now as we get in close. And you can count the bands. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait. Is there such thing as an eight banded armadillo? Hmm. Actually, it's funny because the nine banded armadillo got its name because it has approximately nine bands. Some have seven bands, some have 11 bands. They're usually about nine. Mine apparently is an underachiever here. And, uh,. Actually, if we were to look closely from the side, it looks like you might have a half band. But, you know, an eight and a half band, that rounds up to nine. But I want to talk armadillo here a bit while you're watching this guy. He likes the corners because they like to dig, and that's a good place to start. I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, pick this guy up and not get too muddy, too dirty, or too bloody. I know it's all going to happen that way. And you wonder, bloody, is he an attack animal? No, but he has some very strong claws. And uh, let's see if we can get him picked up here. Luckily, this guy is not out in the wild. He's been around people for a while. So I should be able to get him and hold him so we can see the parts of the armadillo. Now, he's going to get heavy pretty quick, so I'm going to change grips in a minute. I want you to notice the face of the armadillo. That's right. This is, as I mentioned, a nine-banded armadillo. Uh, armadillo is actually a name that came from the uh, Spanish settlers that came over and it's Spanish for little armored thing and you can definitely see how he's kind of armored let's see if he's gonna let me change him up to hold him in a little bit different way I gotta watch these claws I don't know if you can see those big claws 
these claws are for digging. These guys are like little living augers and they can dig very, very fast because they have very, very sharp, very strong claws. But the trick is, oh, and they're very strong. They're good at jumping. And so what I want to do is get him to where it doesn't hurt him to grab him by the tail, get him up here, and then hold him in a nice way where he can't do too much damage, but you can look at him nice and closely. Whew. Got muddy and dirty. Not bloody yet. I appreciate that, Buford. Oh, goodness. So, uh, armadillos. I live in Arizona, and I'm holding an armadillo. That's kind of weird. We don't have armadillos in Arizona. In fact, they're not found uh, usually in the, the low desert areas at all. Uh, they, uh, it's a little bit too dry in the desert for them. I actually have to have a special permit to even have the armadillo here. But the armadillo is going to be found in uh, like rainforest areas, forested areas, and, and some of the grassy scrubland areas. Generally in the uh, southern United States, down through Mexico and into South America, they're a new world animal, meaning they're found in the western hemisphere, which is uh, North America and South America. There's about 20 species of armadillos. Uh, they're pretty much all the same. They're going to be little armored things. I don't know if you can see the uh, the thick plates that they have here. That's where he got the name. Oh, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? And the blood will start flowing. Yeah, thanks, buddy. No, we're good. We're good. I know. I don't know if you can see his claws kind of digging into my arm there. Yeah, not through the skin there. The ones on the back are a little better. But uh, but if you look at the armor plating here, this armor plating <laughs> is thick leather. And the bands are to allow that to be able to move but still be armor plated. And uh, this is a nine banded. And people go, oh, with all those bands, you can curl into a ball and be perfectly hidden like a turtle closing his shell. Actually, the nine banded cannot go into a perfectly round ball. We're going to try in a bit, see if we can show you how far he can go. But the, uh, the uh, three banded armadillo is the one that can go perfectly into a round ball. And of course, that's great. And uh, I've never tried that as a defense, but then again, I don't have thick armadillo skin either. But I guess, uh, you know, I've never looked forward to curling up and putting my face next to my tail. And yeah, you get the idea. You got to really be in defense mode for that to happen. But armadillos. They're actually insectivores. That means they eat insects. Yeah, insectivores is a more specific type of carnivore. And not only do they eat insects, they eat a lot of insects. You see that nose? That's how they find their food. You see, the armadillo is actually closely related to anteaters. Look at that, it looks like an anteater face, a little aardvark face there. And, uh, oh hey Magoo, I forgot. We got Magoo up here, he's our, uh, that likes to say hello when we're in the middle of other things. But back to the armadillo face, you can see that snout and that nose. See that nose going? That's their primary sense, the sense of smell. Now they can see, but not very well. And they can feel once you touch them. They have hairs all over their body to help with that. If you look closely, you might see little tiny hairs on the, uh, the back, some hairs on the legs there and even some up on the face. And hairs are for sensory, for feeling. Now, they, they can hear as well. I mean, look at those ears. Yeah, if you were to come up on an armadillo, he can hear you kind of crashing along, stepping on sticks and stuff, and that gives him a little warning that something's coming and keeps him safe from his predators. Predators? What could possibly eat an armor-plated tank like this? Well, things like coyotes, bobcats, bears, mountain lions, and of course, yeah, some people eat armadillos. Uh, I joked yesterday about them in Texas being called opossums on the half shell. Uh, that is definitely something that uh, people do try. Hey, what's, oh, you want to come up and say hi? Yeah, hi. I don't know if you can see his eyes. Right now, he's got his armor plating over the eyes. But he does have little eyes. He can't see too well with those. But uh, 
Of course, it does help a little bit. But when he's looking for insects, he's digging them up in the ground normally. So he'll walk along, use these claws. He'll sniff around and go, oh, there's something here. And he can smell any bug below the surface up to 18 inches below the surface. And then he uses those claws. You just dig that up best he can and then eat things like worms and grubs. He also likes things he finds on the surface, the grasshoppers and crickets. He also will eat things like, uh, oh, salamanders, newts, small snakes, even a uh, baby mouse if he came across it but of course uh he's not dangerous yeah when you're eating bugs like that you don't have to be dangerous and uh, a lot of people for some reason think armadillos have big scary teeth or something they actually have little tiny teeth in there and really just molars at the back so they have this long face with a long tongue that they use for finding their food now this is one of those creatures that i get the question are they out at night or during the day Typically at night, but not always. You see, these guys, uh, they're very lazy, lazy creatures, if you will. But they carry a lot of, uh, they can cover a lot of area. You see, an armadillo will sleep between 18 and 20 hours a day. I know you're jealous, right? Yeah. So they dig a hole in the ground, they make a little nest in there, and they sleep for six, eight, eight, 10 hours. And then they come out and they run around looking for bugs to eat, digging up the bugs. And once they uh, kind of get full, they go find another place to sleep. They'll dig another hole. In fact, in their territory, they might have 10, 12, 15, 20, even more holes. So they have a large range because they would run out of bugs in one little area. So they have to move around all the time. So he's eating bugs, going in this hole, coming out. It's kind of like road tripping with your friends and only being able to eat at, uh, you know, McDonald's and sleep in hotels. That's what he's doing. But he's dug his own hole in a big area. I say he. This particular one is a male. His name is Buford. Yeah, my son named him. I think it's a pretty good name for an armadillo. Um, and uh, the males and females, unless you look at, well, like any mammal, you kind of look at the bottom, you can tell the difference sort of thing. Uh, you can't just tell by looking at them as they run across the road to know if it's a male or a female. Now, if you're close enough to smell them, sometimes it's easy. Males tend to smell a lot stronger than females. And boy, they do have a little smell to them. Yeah, these guys, uh, for living all their life in a hole in the ground, you'd think they'd be a little cleaner. But they come out, run around, they do take a bath once in a while. But uh, they're not very, they, they're not good swimmers at all. Uh, they are in areas where there's water because where you have more moisture, you tend to have more bugs. But these guys, if they come to a creek or they come to a, a river and they need to get to the other side, they just walk across. But not on top of the water. That would be cool. You see, armadillos are very dense they're very heavy this guy here being nine banded weighs about 10 pounds and that's typical for a nine banded armadillo they can weigh five or six pounds up to 12 or 14 pounds um, his length you can kind of see his body he's about a foot and a half to two feet long with the body and then his tail is about another two-thirds of that length um, by the way the largest type of armadillo on the planet is simply called the giant armadillo and the giant armadillo it's found in South America, and it can get over three feet long without the tail, close to six feet long, including the tail. That's a huge armadillo. Oh, and how much can they weigh? Well, the biggest one ever recorded was 73 pounds. Yeah, that's like bigger than most people's dogs, but he's very, very solid. Yeah, this guy, when he's running, he's got a lot of momentum, so it's amazing that he can move very fast, but he can. You see, armadillos can run at about 20 miles an hour over that. The uh, uh, fastest on record is like 30 miles an hour. We're talking a creature that's like a tank moving at 30 miles an hour. That's a pretty good defense. So you add that with the armor-plated skin and the ability to jump, yeah! You're thinking, wait a minute, this thing's a tank. He weighs 10 pounds. He's only, uh, you know, three feet long. He can't jump. Yeah, they can jump over three feet in the air. And unfortunately, that's what happens to them in the wild. You see, where they live where people live, and they're out in the road trying to find some bugs, and a car comes by, they don't know it's there until the car is right over the top of them. And then they kick into defensive mode. Their first thing when they feel threatened is to jump straight up because nothing expects that. 
Well, when you do that into the bottom of a Dodge truck, it doesn't work very well. Actually, you can do it in the bottom of a Toyota Camry. It's not going to work very well. And unfortunately, that's how most people get to see armadillos in the wild is if they've been hit by cars. But you know what? These guys are actually super cool. And enough seeing all the close-ups here. Let me let you see how it is that he's able to move. So I'm going to try and put him down and let him run around a bit and see if he'll show you his digging ability. There you go, buddy. Yeah. I knew I was going to get a little bloody and dirty today, but it's all part of working with a creature you want to know about. Now, oh, a little bit of that speed there. I was trying to show you that. Now, notice the ground where he's at now is all dug up. His enclosure is like a little bomb shelter, if you will. He actually has a, a concreted floor and concrete reinforced with rebar walls uh, that are uh, three feet in the ground. Because he spends a lot of his time underground, most of that is, well, what we built for him. So he uh, does come out and he digs around. Of course, he eats bugs, but once we get him in captivity, we can get him on a, a little different diet, something that's more man-made, but still good for him. And uh, I'm gonna see if we can get him to move back over to this side over here. Hey, buddy, hey, come over here. Why don't you run over and show everybody how you can dig. He's like, oh, I'm going to take a bath real quick. Yeah. He does, of course, need water more than we would have here in the desert naturally. So he has his own little water area that he uses as a spa sometimes, a little jacuzzi. Oh, also, ha, he likes to show off something a lot of people don't know. Armadillos can climb. Yeah, now you don't normally see him up in the trees at all, but you can see if he needs to, he can climb. Those claws will work just great for that. And uh, now we'll let him get back down here. See if I can. Uh, get it. He likes doing that over his water and then drop it in the water. I think he actually enjoys that. He's like, oh, I'll splash water all over. All right, you gonna show him how you want to dig a bit? Hey, come over this way, out of the water, find a little spot. There we go. There's his spot. He's like, oh, maybe I can dig here. Oh, and there we go. That's the digging armadillo right there. Look at him. His big, strong back legs are kicking that dirt way out of the way. He's just digging fast with his front legs. And look at that. He's already down over four or five inches in just mere seconds. Yeah. Now, you'll notice that the ground underneath, <coughs> okay, I'm good, is uh, going to be nice and, and moist. That's what he wants to get down to, the area where it's good and wet so he can stay nice and cool. And that's where he's going to spend his time. Uh, this time of the year, he'll come out in the day usually for a couple hours uh, at a time uh, but uh, <laughs> look at him dig that's an armadillo in action right there wow yeah he's gonna be able to dig down there well he's already what 12 inches in or so all right well while we're watching the armadillo do the armadillo thing we have some questions coming in Oh, armadillos generally will live about 12 or 15 years. Uh, the record, I think, was about 23 years or something. Uh, I don't know how old this guy is. I get that question, too. Uh, he actually came as a rescue. Uh, he, uh, not from here in Arizona. Uh, they actually are quite a nuisance in the areas where they live around people. They'll get into yards and they'll destroy gardens and they'll uh, dig up holes that uh, uh, sometimes the uh, cattle and other animals can uh, fall in and break their legs and stuff. And they are nuisances. And the armadillo here, yeah, he was one that was caught. It was pretty much going to be taken care of in the normal way which is, uh, yeah, ended up food somewhere or something. So we ended up taking him and keeping him now to use him for this purpose, the educational purpose. Uh, so I don't know how old he is. He was full grown when we got him. And he's actually, uh, I've had him, I think, three or four years. So it could be he's 15. It could be he's seven. I don't know. By the way, speaking of the age of them, an interesting thing about armadillos is that armadillos always have quadruplets. That's right. Every time they have babies, they have quadruplets, four of them. And not only that, but all four of them are identical. They're clones of each other. That's right. You do a DNA test between all four of those siblings, and they're going to be identical. Yeah. So that's, I think, something quite interesting. Look at him just dig and dig and dig. He's eventually going to end up disappearing, 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 
he's gonna disappear down there. Look at his dirty face. He thinks this is great with all kinds of dirt all over. That's how the armadillo loves to live. So, are they typically timid? He seems to be hiding his face a lot. So well, the, his face he likes to hide it because that's his sensitive part, if you will. That's like a turtle. That's what an animal is gonna be able to. to bite off to, if they're going to eat him so he is going to keep that hidden very well and that's why curling up in a ball works i don't know if now that he's digging we can get him to curl into a ball a little there we go but when he does look at oh, kind of a ball there you go look at that he can curl up some not a complete ball but he wants to keep that head hidden so that nothing can hurt him now you were to see one of these in the wild he's going to try and run away from you rather than run towards you uh so uh he's a little on the timid side if you will he sheds his skin well being a mammal he sheds his skin like uh, all of us mammals shed our skin it's all coming off cell at a time if you will but it's not like a reptile where he has the whole thing come off that would be kind of interesting you know <laughs> that'd be crazy but uh wow look at him big do they make noise uh, they can make a little noise but it's not like they have a call or anything it's just more of a little grunting sound and oh, look at this, you can see his, oh, I don't know if we can get the close-up of his feet going there. Look at those claws just digging, digging at that ground. It was asked if he's a member of like a rat family. Uh, no, they're not rodents. They're actually closely related to aardvarks and anteaters and, uh, and actually sloths. Uh, all these things have these uh, these great claws and you can see his face if we, we can never get him to open his mouth for you But inside it's basically no teeth in the long front snout little molars in the back and a long tongue For basically doing anteater things. They love things like ants and termites as well as the grubs and worms and stuff Oh, so He is just a digging machine and this is what he loves to do now I talked a little bit about his enclosure here and how we had to fortify it so that he couldn't just dig out and get away and yeah that wouldn't be good but he'll dig usually one or two holes in here and uh, he doesn't have to worry about his food because he gets his food brought to him every day oh and one of our tricks by the way is actually right here this is a bug zapper now the bug zapper, I know people, oh you're killing all the bugs. Yeah, I know. Because the bugs come in here at night, bzz, hit the bug zapper, fall to the ground. And then the armadillo comes out whenever it is that he's hungry and he's got a pile of fresh insects right here. It's a little trick I learned from a guy I met in Texas years ago that told me he had an armadillo that came to his house every night to clean up the scraps from his bug zapper. And it works great to help once again with the variety and natural type of food that the armadillo would need. And so it's fun to watch. I have a little security camera in here so I can check on him anytime. And when it goes off and says there's motion, it's usually him out moving around. Sometimes it's a moth that gets too close, but then I can watch him come over. First thing he does is go straight to the spot under the bug zapper, eating all of the bugs that he finds, and then he'll go, and when he comes back out later, there's more. It's like a magical little treat for him. Now, I think from what I've been able to observe, that Buford here, I think likes his bugs more medium, medium rare. I don't know, I'm just making that up. You can imagine they'll be falling down and he's getting all this food. We also give him worms, mealworms, grubs, things like that. But we also give him uh, armadillo food. It's a canned uh, type food thing that has all the nutrition that he needs. Look at him. Still just digging and digging away here. Look at how much ground he's... You know, some of you are going, Hey, I need that guy to till my garden for me. Yeah, it's only great till you have something planted. Are they born with all of their bands? Yes, yes. So they're born with whatever bands it is that they have. Uh, if he has seven or twelve or whatever the nine banded here uh, and that's how you tell the species apart so a three banded will have about three usually right at three they're a little more specific than the nine uh, and they're going to have that their whole life very good question i think it's good now you can see all this armor plating that he has in here and i'm going to see if i can get him to turn around and maybe well no, no, not go too far i want you to look at the camera where, where are you going oh, oh okay <laughs> Oh, he's over in the sunlight now for a bit, and, uh... Well, I'll try and get him to dig some more. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you over to here. He's like, oh, maybe I should dig here. I don't know. Okay. 
Tell you what, let's get you back over to let you dig, and then we'll we'll wrap up this little segment on the armadillo, doing the armadillo thing. There you go, buddy. I was just trying to see if they could see your your face when you go into the ball. His top of his head is pretty solid, and uh, so he's got his little his little side uh, armors, if you will. And once he kind of tucks that in, there's not really much you can do to him. So we'll go ahead and uh, watch him just dig and dig and dig. And get down to where he'll he can go two three feet underground all right well i hope everybody enjoyed learning about that crazy creature the armadillo i really really hope you enjoyed it because well as you can see i did suffer uh well that one might need stitches we'll see no nah, i'm good i'm just kidding it's good ah, my clothes are dirty and i'm bloody and, and messy but it was worth it right to get to see the armadillo now if you do find one out in the wild, you're probably not going to want to run up to it and pick it up. It's pretty hard to do anyway because they are very fast. Uh, and being that they are little tanks, they're hard to control as you probably already figured out. But the armadillo is out there helping by eating the bugs. Really doing a great job at that. Tilling the earth and helping to aerate the soil, help the plants to grow. And of course, uh, getting rid of all the nuisance uh, creatures that are out there as well. Before we go one more time, I do want to thank everybody for your support. Uh, I hope you guys are really enjoying these. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to uh, give you part two of feeding time. That's right. Uh, we got some hungry animals outdoors. The weather's good now. So we're going to do some of the feeding of the outdoor creatures. So uh, tune in tomorrow. I know uh, some of you have already picked what you want to see eat. And I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, also, uh, coming up uh, later this week, we're going to have some more creepy crawly creatures. And um, I think we're going to start talking about what kind of pet might be good for you. And uh, so get uh, those things all ready. <laughs> we got a big hole going, whoops, excuse me, going right here. In any case, thank you guys for the support. Uh, remember that uh, you can come back and see any of these videos anytime if you want to show them uh, to your friends. Also, if you hop over to my YouTube page, they're getting uploaded over there. It's a little bit easier to send links that way to some, so we'll be good. But thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully, uh, and if you want the uh, tip jar information, we'll put it in the comments. I'm sure everybody by now is tired of hearing me tell you what it is. So uh, I do appreciate the help. Appreciate you guys tuning in and hope you enjoyed learning about the crazy creature known as the armadillo.